She's as elegant as always. <laughs> she is the quintessence of elegance. And she brought her beautiful daughter home. Hi, beautiful daughter. Hi. Yeah, and then there's her sister. Hi, sister. Hey. <laughs> so we're, we're trying to figure out now what are some fond memories that we have of the holidays. And the first olive out of the jar is Jill. Yeah. This one popped in my head immediately. My mm -hmm. fondest was throughout my childhood, Troy would wake us up so early and bring us downstairs. This is, um, I don't think Bryant, just Roger and I would come down with Troy and we would um, anticipate the room being filled with presents, but there are times we got there too early <laughs> and it hadn't been laid out yet. So we would sneak back upstairs, wait and come down maybe an hour or two later and that's when the room was filled. It looked like toy us or us. My, yeah. Mom and dad just went overboard with the love and the, <laughs> everything was, and our areas were all labeled with our name tags on them. So my fondest memories were getting up with Troy and then coming downstairs and waiting. Thank you for sharing. All right. Well, I forget how old I was but my parents were buying bicycles for us one year for me and my brother and they told us that the water heater had exploded <laughs> and so they locked the door to the water heater which is where the bikes were hidden <laughs> <laughs> and being the investigative uh, sleuth that I am I pretty much figured that they were hiding something there and uh, I just appreciated the, the joy on my parents faces when they gave uh, me and my brother, our bicycles, that was a, a very unique experience. And, and um, I think I just was happy just to be with them. That was uh, the fondest memory for me, just being with mom and dad. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> our LA resident, Miss <laughs> Taylor Lee Berry. Ladies and gentlemen, Taylor Lee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my memories of Christmas are of course, we're driving down, we're in Dallas, so uh, we go and visit grandmom and granddaddy in Houston. So a big part of that is the whole road trip and getting all of my uh, art things, where there's like Game Boy and crayons, you know, you gotta survive that four hour drive. <laughs> um, blankets and, you know, stuffed animals and whatever else. And, um, so that was always fun. And then um, getting to the house, I, I loved having the twin bedroom um, upstairs, which used to be mom's old room. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just great to always see everyone. I love how um, going, to, going to Houston, even though we would stay with grandma and granddaddy, we'd always go uh, and visit the, the Sexton's house. Um, and then um, just the neighbors and people who would come over and then um, you guys would come over and then uh, Sean and Eric um, playing and I, I would always try to play with them. <laughs> and, and they weren't they, nice. And they, <laughs> not just always trying to hang out with me, but that's okay. And try to play video games and things. And um, what was that one time they put on grandmommy's wigs? And so uh, it was always entertaining. So I just the whole the travel um, and getting to see everybody. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You said something about tradition of making brownies. What was that? That was, that was That's not a fondest. <laughs> that was that was Taylor's. You know, that was something that she did all the time to make brownies. Oh, okay, oh. okay, but, excellent. Um, yeah, my, and and uh, my memory, you know, in Houston is is kind of the same as Jill. I don't know where mom hid all that stuff. I know. Where did, I was thinking on the way on the drive here, where did she pack it all? She must have started in the summer. It's how much stuff there was. And just caught sale after sale as they came up and stuff must have been everywhere. I'm sure there was some in the attic, some outside, some in her trunk, you know, both trunks. You know, it was packed out everywhere and it was like you know, you go down and everything, everybody had their name tag in a special chair or a special place on the sofa. And it's like, it, it was like, you know, toy land mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. And clothes, clothes, mm -hmm. toys for each person. Mm -hmm. And I remember 
in Mobile once, we had some little friends around who lived around the corner. And they came over on Christmas morning and they were, they were poor and they were so excited that one of them had received one doll and one something else and somebody else two things and they were so excited I didn't want to tell them that's all <laughs> but but anyway um, one Christmas that I remember when Troy was little he had to get up and go this was before I think this was even before Houston he had to get up and go to the restroom and so he yelled out daddy I gotta go to the bathroom and so dad said well Get up and go. Well, no, Santa Claus might see me. <laughs> so he had to be escorted to the bathroom because you know you're not supposed to be seen by Santa Claus. So you won't get anything. And uh, be escorted to the bathroom and escorted back so he would wouldn't be in trouble. But anyway, it was it was a big deal. Thank you, Tracy. Yeah. All right. All right. One of my best Christmas memories would have to be. When uh, my dad sent the Nintendo 64, and and <laughs> we're in Houston, and I open up. I know that's what I really wanted. Like more than anything, that's that's the gift throughout my childhood that I wanted. I got that Nintendo 64, and Sean and I were actually just talking about this yesterday. How he was excited that I got it, and we were just so ready to plug it in. So we rip it all up, go to a TV, go upstairs hook it up it had two controllers and no games and it was christmas so we excited as kids could be got a controller in both our hands and all we could do was turn it on and off and see the nintendo symbol and like funny story from then my uncle johnny would call that game system drugs <laughs> for the rest of my life like, it changed my gaming life everything that's where it started right there the nintendo 64 that I had no games for it and wow. that, that was that was wow. my husband. Wow. Yeah. Room, and then the next thing you know was blood going on. <laughs> 007. We <laughs> were <laughs> in Sean's room. He had the bunk bed. And I thought I was doing good. <laughs> <laughs> I was going through the rooms and stuff. And, and then it would be like, oh, oh Taylor, we're, we're here. We're over here. I'll, I'll let you get us this one time. And I know, and you can see their screens because you're all looking at the thing, but it would look like they were in the room. And I thought, And we were outside in the garage, and I saw that orange car that I had gotten, Eric, where you could pedal it and oh, steer like little red, little red. And I was so proud of that car because I figured he wanted an electric car. He wanted the bad people. Yeah. And, yeah. and I thought, no, it was it was way too expensive. He was going to grow out of it like in the next year, and this he could get some exercise. <laughs> And I'm telling him this, you know, and he said, I hated that car. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew. I was so proud of that. I felt so bad. He yeah. was disappointed as soon as he saw it because he knew uh, he wanted the yeah, electric I think car. I remember him looking at it being like, uh, He wanted the electric car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what he wanted. Yeah. Do you recall an exact moment in Christmas? Uh -huh. But I remember near Christmas when Opa proposed to me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> in 2010, and so yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> so that's one of my best. Um, let's see. I don't know, all of them have been really good. I love being around my family and wow. having that special time. So they're all really good. So yeah, that's it. Uh, 1980. 1980. Mm -hmm. 1980. When my son was born, my son was born in in August. No. I mean September, September, <laughs> and the following December we had a big family together, and that was the first family uh, Christmas that we had all together. This one is in a small apartment in Oak Cliff, but we had a great time. Uh -huh. We have all the family members, they showed up, and we had a house packed with the guests. So that is the greatest memory that I remember. I have quite a lot of those, but that is the number one. My first child, my first marriage, and the happiest moment. Awesome, awesome.
my favorite memories of the holidays were when my brothers would come home from college and I get to see them because I didn't get to see them throughout the year. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, I think my best memory of the holidays is in a specific time, but I always enjoy spending time with family. Sometimes it was the only time of the year that I could see them. I still to this day just enjoy being with family. Um, it's just, it's great memories, and there's some people that aren't with us anymore, and I still have those great memories from the holidays of spending time with them. So that's it. Thank you, Shauna. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I, I have a question for which, which, that one, was a, which, that one, was which one is your favorite kid? Which one is your favorite? Somebody can see me. Favorite? Ariel. 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 Giselle. <laughs> Part of Kaden. You're a smart lady. You're a smart lady. Uh, who else? Cruz. And Eddie Bassett. You rolling? I'm rolling. Okay. I don't have a fondest memory that I can think of, but okay. the holiday season in general is just always a special time because everybody gets together and all the kids running around brings a good spirit. So it's just always been a special time for me. So I, I really anticipate it every year yeah. and really enjoy it when it comes around. Good. So that's it. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. right here, <laughs> Michelle Baines Fulbright, the daughter of Joyce Lee Higgard Baines. One of the greatest cooks in history. <laughs> Dear Michelle, tell us how you created this fine dish today. You know, John, this is a family secret. <laughs> if I put this out, there will be restaurants that will cook people out of here. <laughs> so in order to have a level playing field, mm -hmm. I'm just saying a little bit of mm and a little bit of uh. you got to just... <laughs> and I like to thank A. Maureen, Uncle Jim, because I asked them before. Uh, thank God I was had wise wisdom in my 20s. I said, can y'all teach me how to cook three things? Gumbo, greens, and peach cobbler. And that's what they did wow. from their restaurant. So this is Uncle Uncle uh, Jim and A. Maureen. And Uncle Jim actually stuck his foot in it even more than A. Maureen. <laughs> so I was like, wow. Yeah. But there, there is a little secret sauce to it. I, I will show you, but I can't put it on the camera because <laughs> it'll take away all credibility. Okay. I, you know, I win gumbo contests. Okay. And, and, and I just have to hold my rep. Okay. okay, okay. <laughs> hold it. Okay. Was this a family secret brought over from Africa? <laughs> I don't know if it was Africa or Alabama. It begins with A, though. I don't it's know what A. A. With an A. Okay. It begins with an A. Okay. But, but it, it, it's taught us to go back in, and you know what? That's our love language. Mm -hmm. When we cook, it's our love language. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's one thing I've learned. Okay. Good, okay. good. Awesome. Right. I love it. Thank so, you. Bucky and I would like to just thank you. Oh, Bucky, what's up, Bucky? Uh -uh. What's up, Bucky? Bucky! <laughs> 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 Everybody and me and Bucky on Christmas, we are so happy together because I got my caramelized pecans and we just got a good relationship. We got a, a diamond gift card and I got diamond earrings. Mm -hmm. So okay. I can just... And then, you know, we're going home now. Happy? My memory is for my children getting up so early. So early that they never went to sleep. They were always <laughs> pretending like they were so bad boys. So at midnight, y'all go to sleep in there. Y'all go to sleep in there. Four o'clock, can we get up now? Can we get up now? And I'm telling you what, it was always so exciting to see the joy in their eyes. When they talk about the magic of Christmas, you can see it in the kids' eyes. They just light up and they have an expectation. So the thing is, you never want to disappoint them. So no matter what happens in our own personal lives, I always say remember the, to go back in and be a blessing to someone else. And it'll always come back to you in all kinds of forms, in all kinds of ways. So that's my Christmas memory. And thank you for allowing me to share. Bless you. Jordan, Jordan, tell us why you like the holidays. Well, since, since uh, I've been, yeah, yeah, since my dad has, I've, there have been like, like so, like so a lot of presents that, that I have uh, ever opened in my life. Like, like the small one from, from Nani and, and and Papa Kevin was was the ear pods. Uh huh. Mhm. Mm what else? What else happened for you? Was that? Da and then you got what else did you get? Daddy can't. Kaylee also got got me a PlayStation game, game and it, like like two only two game two games to play and it what was Lego Harry Potter. Lego Harry Potter. Mhm. Mm okay. And you got something Jurassic Park too. 
Yes, and, and it was Uno attack, attack. Uno Attack. And did you like all those? Mm-hmm. Okay, very good. Are you very happy today? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jordan. Oh, yes, you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> we tried something new today um, where we interviewed a lot of family members about their most memorable times regarding the holidays. And we put together this little video um, just to do something a little different to help us to think and remember and be thankful. Hope you enjoyed.